All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukakudash. The bonus to the apostles and elders, great millstone, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. And uh, this video is called Did African Slave Traders Enslave Their Own People? Now, we've been telling y'all that, that the actual African people, the Hamites, the sons of Ham, don't have nothing uh, nothing to do with the so-called Negro, all right? The so-called West Africans, all right? Because we are the Hebrew Israelites. They did not sell their own people. Now, you had you had Israelites, all right, that, that did sell out to to the Edomites who are so called white people or also well also to the Ishmaelites. The Ishmaelites are the Arabs. Alright, because you have some called the, the Arab slave trade. So <clears throat> this Edomite is gonna tell you who enslaved who. He's gonna tell you that uh the Africans did not enslave their own people. So listen to this. Historically, slavery is something that people inflict on others. Right? You don't, generally speaking, enslave people like yourself. Now, how those borders are drawn may, be, may change. You know, so if you go back to ancient Athens, for example, it would have been rare for an Athenian to enslave another Athenian. See? But he would have had no qualms about enslaving a Spartan or a Corinthian or whatever. There's a kind of notion that you'll hear a lot of people say that you know, Africans enslaved their own people. And in fact, they didn't. In our, you hear that? In fact, they did not. He would know that because he knows the history of his forefathers. He has the paperwork, the blueprint. All right, the background on who really enslaved who. All right. The Lord put a difference between the Egyptians, which are the Hamites, and Israel, the people of Israel, the children of Israel. That's why they did it. They knew that you so-called Negroes. Let's see if I can move this over. Salakia. Ah, oh, come on. Phone tripping. Salakia. Yeah, it's tripping. Tripping real hard. Uh, where did it go? All right. They knew that you so-called Negroes, check that out, was the kingdom of Judah. This is from, uh, uh, what's it called? Negro land, Negro land map. All right. They knew that it says kingdom is not going to spell out the full word, right? Kingdom, Salaki, I'm shaking. I'm holding this this phone with one hand. Kingdom of Judah or White, a slave coast. All right. So there you have it. All right. Let's play it back. All right. And in fact, they didn't. In our imagination today, this is one place inhabited by one race of people. But that wouldn't have made much sense to people at the time. You know, that Africa was and is a dizzyingly diverse continent with literally thousands of distinct ethnic and linguistic groups. Yeah. <clears throat> so there's conflict and, you know, contestation between those groups. And uh, that grows dramatically, that conflict. So there you have it. All right. The Africans did not sell Africans. The Africans... We're still in the Hebrew Israelites. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. All right. And the Lord.